What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has rolled out a brand new update for the Galaxy S24 series, which is running on One UI 7 Beta. This is the fifth beta for the S24 series. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's go to the settings. I will tap on software update, download and install. You can see this update seems to have fixed many bugs on One UI 7 on the S24 series. The latest version is ZYC6. And let me scroll down here and show you the size. This is almost about 1 GB size here, which is pretty huge. 975.15 MB to be precise. Security patch level is March 2025 and Android version 15. Now let's check out the change log here. Under new features, it says add S24, S24 plus Samsung log function. I think this is the log video format, which is added now to the S24 and S24 plus, if I'm not wrong. Uh, if you guys rock a S24 and S24 plus, do let me know whether you got the log format uh, record on your camera application or not drop a comment now let's check out the bugs which have been fixed there are there's a big list of bugs here the first one is fixed intermittent display error of now bar controller then we have fixed lock screen notification setting error fix the issue with icons appearing small on widget setting screen fix intermittent blur issues after setting up a widget transparency fix partial font image overlap issues fix quick action menu spacing fix the issue where gallery edit buttons does not operate intermittently, fix notification history operation error, improve media playback to display as a real-time notification, many other improvements. Now, frankly, I did not notice any of these bugs which are listed here. Maybe it is just me. I'm not sure about the others, whether you have uh, encountered any of these bugs, let me know. I did not encounter any of these bugs here. Maybe I just got lucky. I'm not very sure. But yeah, if you have been facing any challenges, any issues, any bugs, then this update should fix it. And this may be the last beta update that we're going to get before the stable release. Not very sure about it. If at all there is beta 6, I will keep you guys posted. But it looks like they have fixed many of the bugs here. And I hope there is no more bugs, lags, or any issues after this update. Now, what I'm going to do is I will go ahead, resume the download here and update it and then come back to you guys and let's do our usual test. Let's open the applications. Let's check out the latest update on Google Play Store. And let's also check if there is any new feature which has been added. Let me tap on resume download. It's going to take a couple of minutes and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, now the phone has been updated and it is turned on. Let's go ahead and see if there is any stutters, lags, or anything. Let's open the quick panel first. And what is this? It's showing me a widget here which says loading widget data behind this quick panel. And that might be related to the, uh, the weather uh, widget that we have here. Oh, come on. Now, this is not good. I thought I have got no bugs and issues on my Galaxy S24 Ultra on the beta 4. And now with beta 5 release, it looks like I just got some new bugs here. You can clearly see there is a widget background showing up here behind this quick panel. And you can also see this button here behind this quick panel. That is the app tray button, which is showing up right here, even though that button is not here in the uh, on the home screen. Now, this is not really good. Again, I think Samsung will have to fix all this. Maybe they're planning to release one more beta. I'm not sure what is happening. This is actually not acceptable at all. And I also noticed some stutter here on the quick panel. Let's try this a couple of times. Yep, there is a minor stutter here, maybe because of this background which is showing up here. Now let's open a few applications. Now, I think app opening and closing animation is pretty smooth. There is no issue. Let me go to the recent app. Again, here I don't see any issues. Let's close all. And now let's try to open the quick panel again. Nope. Let me open the weather widget here. Let's see the animations. Calendar. Actually, the animation is very good. There is no issue at all. It is smooth. But yeah, this new bug is actually bothering me. So what I'll do now is let me just quickly restart the phone and let's see if we have got this issue uh, even after restarting. Let me restart the phone. All right, now the phone has been restarted. Let's give it a couple of minutes to cool down. It generally takes about a minute to settle everything down. So let's wait for that. And then let's test this quick panel again. Again, there is some issue here. I restarted the phone. And this widget seems to be still loading here. Let's wait for some more time. Let's see if this loads or not. Let me open this up. 
Nope, it's not showing it at all. Again, looks like this is another bug. After restarting this, this is happening here. Now let me remove this widget and maybe I will add this widget again. Let's add the calendar widget. Yeah, I think now it's working fine. Actually, that shouldn't have happened after restarting that a widget completely went blur. Probably another minor issue. Now let's open the quick panel. Yeah, I think now it is looking fine. Oh, again, I can see this background here, loading widget data. This is definitely a bug here. And this is going to annoy me a lot every time when I open the quick panel. Let me know whether you are facing this issue on your phone or not. Drop a comment. Now let's check if you have got the new sketch to image feature. Let me tap on sketch to image. No, I still have the same old uh, sketch to image layout. We don't see the one which is available on the S25 Ultra. The second thing is now brief. Now brief is still not available on the Galaxy S24 series. So let's hope now brief will be made available. Now one more important feature which has been missing is ports from Google on now bar. Let's check if that is available. Let's go to the settings, tap on lock screen and AOD and tap on now bar. Here we go. We have got sports from Google now available for the Galaxy S24 series. We'll be able to get the live notifications of any sports that you're following. All you need to do is just tap on this and tap on sports from Google settings and start following the sports that you want to follow here. You've got the entire list here, recommended, cricket, football, basketball, American football, baseball, etc. And you'll be able to just uh, expand a specific game and then tap on follow your team. Whenever there's a live sports, you'll get the live sports score right there on your now bar as well as on the live notifications right here on the status bar. That is fantastic and kudos to Samsung for doing that. And definitely this is something which you guys have been asking for for the Galaxy S24 series. And now Samsung has made it available. Now let's go ahead and check out the settings here. I am kind of annoyed looking at this background here. I hope Samsung fixes this. I think there will be one more beta. That is what I feel. So uh, stay tuned for the next beta update again. Then the stable version is gonna be coming probably in the next month. So stay tuned. Now let's go to the settings. Let's check out the uh, Google Play system update as well. Let me tap on security and privacy, tap on updates and tap on Google Play system update. I still see October update at the moment. Let's see if there is any new update. Maybe this is running on beta, so Google may not be pushing any play system updates. I'm not very sure. Anyways, it's asking me to restart now. Let me restart this and let's check what is the latest update that we have. And you guys also check your uh, Google Play system update and let me know whether you have got the latest update and for which month you have got the update for. Now let's wait for the phone to restart. Now the phone has been restarted. Now since I restarted it again, let's open the quick panel and see if that bug still exists. Now I'm actually seeing the calendar. Earlier it was just a loading a widget which was there on the, in the background. And now it's funny, we have got the calendar which is showing up in the background. Anyways, let's go to the settings now. I will tap on, yep, there is uh, definitely stutter and bug there. Uh, let me tap on security and privacy and tap on updates. It's still showing me October 2024 update. Let me tap on this again. Okay, again, there is a 12 MB update, latest security update for uh, from Google. Update now to keep safe and improve device stability. I probably have to download this and install it. And again, I have to restart the phone and then I'll come back to you guys again and uh, let you know uh, which month uh, that I just got the update for. Let me restart this again. All right, now the phone is restarted. Again, let's go to the settings, tab on security and privacy and updates. Now it still says October, so I don't think the latest update that we got is for the uh, recent months. Yes, this confirms that uh, this is for 1st October. Let me know which is your latest update, drop a comment. Uh, that's about it. I think this bug still persists. Yes, I hope this gets rectified and I'm uh, expecting another beta which is beta 6 and then the stable version will be hitting uh, the Galaxy S24 series. Let's wait and see. I will keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Hope you have already downloaded our Volvo's application which is uh, an amazing app for the wallpapers. There are some pretty cool collections and wallpapers on this app. Go ahead, download it. There is a free version and a pro version. Free version runs with that. Pro version you will get to unlock many collections and you can get rid of the ads. So go ahead, download it. The link is in the description. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the like button. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers, bye-bye.